Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith. This time, can we have competitions in heaven? We human beings get a lot of satisfaction from testing the limits of our skills, or in some cases, the skills of something or someone else. These limits can often be seen in a satisfying way by having contests to determine which of two people, animals, or machines is stronger, faster, more skilled, etc. Before we go into the logical questions on this issue, let's look at what the Bible has to say. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. John 14.27 when Jesus admits to bringing peace, this is not the same thing as geopolitical peace. We humans only understand peace imperfectly as being anything that isn't war, and a lot of times we're so desperate to prevent war that we go overboard in the other direction, oppressing natural and normal behaviors and desires out of fear. To start with, it is good, not evil, to have aggressive motivation which drives you to excel. Yes, this kind of motivation can drive an evil person to cause tremendous harm, but it can also make a good person that much better and more driven to do right. God, who knows everything, is of course aware of this. That's why Revelation 3, 15-16 condemns lukewarmness, asking for either hot love, eagerly doing the will of God out of love and gratitude, or cold love, doing what God commands out of fear of punishment and or desire for heavenly rewards. Both require motivation and drive. It's not the motive or the drive that makes war bad. It's the decision on the part of someone to kill other people. Because of this, the only bad thing about heavenly contests would be the sadness of people who lose. However, as we discussed recently, in heaven people are aware of the truth about all sorts of things, and they would certainly be aware of the truth about their own value. So, even if they did lose a contest of some sort, they would know that it doesn't decrease their value any, nor would winning the contest increase their value. The other thing that people love about contests is the excitement of wondering who's going to win, and... While God could give people knowledge of the future sufficient to make that impossible, there's no good reason to think that he would, or would need to, if human beings wanted the excitement more than the knowledge. This is especially true because knowledge of the future is only useful for a person who expects to run into trouble down the road, and in heaven, God is there to make sure that doesn't happen. To demand future knowledge for the purposes of avoiding some future catastrophe would imply that the person didn't trust God to handle it. On earth, yes, people are permitted by God to endure suffering and loss, but that's just not what heaven is about. On the other hand, whatever excitement is gained through conflict and competition could also be provided by God through other means. I doubt this explanation, however, because it seems to imply that there are some good kinds of excitement on earth which are not present in heaven, and that would prevent heaven from being a place where all goodness is present. Furthermore, it would imply that danger and evil is responsible for creating some good thing which God couldn't create without it. That's a little closer to blasphemy than I'm willing to go. So, we have every reason to think that there will be exciting competitions in heaven, even more enjoyable and intense than the ones we have here, because those in heaven won't have mortality to hold them back. Next, can people appreciate personal glory in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.